Welcome to the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta resource video library. This resource is to help make all things Girl Scouts simple. This video segment is about the Girl Scout leadership experience, badges, and journeys. When we talk about the Girl Scout leadership experience, we're talking about the skills and talents that girls develop as part of the Girl Scout movement. There are two areas where we develop the girls' abilities. Badges, which are skill-based, and journeys, which are leadership-based. Let's start with talking about badges. Girls love to earn badges. Frequently, though, we spend a lot of time helping girls to rush through the badge, and they may not understand the full value of what they've learned. Often, I'm in the badge and sash, and I love to see a girl in her uniform, and I'll say, what did you do to earn that badge? She looks at her vest, she looks at me, and she says, hold on, Mom! What did I do to earn this badge? So we want girls to spend enough time on a badge that they understand the impact and the skill that they were supposed to have learned. We currently have a philosophy in Girl Scouts that badges are about educating and not decorating. We don't want girls to earn as many badges as they can in a year. We want them to earn badges that have specific meaning to them and that they understand deeply once they're done. The other part of the Girl Scout leadership experience are journeys. Journeys are the leadership curriculum that help girls to develop the skills around leadership. When we think about badges, it's easy to think about what they are. They have a checklist, they're skill specific, girls tend to earn them one at a time. The journeys are all about helping each girl to develop her personal leadership skills. Leadership skills like listening, cooperation, team building, problem solving, being part of a group, these are all leadership skills, or softer skills, that are built into each journey. The leadership skills that have been built into the journeys make it easier for leaders to make sure that they're covering all of the important steps. One of the key steps to leadership is reflection. It's not about doing the activity as much as it is about talking about what did girls learn from the activity. So one of the examples is, in one of the activities, girls make a peacemaker box. It's a craft activity. The girls bring in supplies, they get to decorate their box, but then you spend some time talking about what is a peacemaker box? How are you going to be a peacemaker? How are you going to help bring peace to the world? How can we have peace just within our troop? Perhaps we have a little friction. How can we make this a more peaceful place, our community a more peaceful place, and the world a more peaceful place? The activity itself is just a catalyst. It's just a way to start the conversation about the larger topic of what does this really mean. Also, it's an opportunity to have dialogue with the girls and to create conversation starters for them to think about what's really important. How can we make a difference in the world? We say we're about making the world a better place, but how does that happen? It happens when girls think about large issues, talk about them, and come up with ideas to make things better. Working on the journeys is also a great way for girls to earn their leadership awards. Each journey has three to four leadership awards that girls earn as they complete the steps. When we talk about the Girl Scout leadership experience, we often talk about the three keys to leadership. Discover, connect, and take action. Discover is about girls exploring their own skills and talents. As girls grow and develop their skills, they will learn that they are good at some things and not quite as good at some other things. The Discover part of the Girl Scout Leadership Experience helps them to focus on things that they're good at and help to identify those skills. Girl Scouts is a safe place for them to try different things so they can determine if they like a particular activity or not. It's also about discovering their values. What's important to them? What do they want to spend time learning more about? What do they want to spend time making a difference in the community? Connect is about the interrelational part of Girl Scouts, the people skills. It's about team building, cooperation, learning to get along, problem solving in groups. Connect is important as an important part of Girl Scouts because Girl Scouting is done as a group of girls. Take action. Take action is the part of Girl Scouting where we work to make the world a better place. Girls look into the community, they assess the needs, they come up with projects or plans, and then they put those into action. 
So when we put the three keys together, discover, connect, and take action, we have the foundation for the Girl Scout leadership experience. We also do it through three processes, girl-led, learning by doing, and cooperative learning. In my opinion, girl-led is the most important because it allows the girls to have a voice in what they're doing and a say in what activities they want to have be part of their experience. Also, cooperative learning is that social part of doing things together, working as a team, being collaborative. As girls participate in activities through the three keys and the three processes, you can help them to have the full Girl Scout leadership experience by helping them to reflect. Girl Scouting is all about activity and reflection. So it's not about doing many things, it's about doing one thing well and then debriefing, having time to talk about it and make that experience as full as possible. Girl Scouting is all about fun with purpose. We know that girls want to have a fun experience with other girls, but we know that there is a value that girls get from being part of Girl Scouts that builds their leadership skills, which they will use for the rest of their lives. Journeys can also be customized. We have a book, a resource called Customize the Journey, and it will give you ideas of ways that you can make the journey your own. If you have older girls, cadets, seniors, or ambassadors, don't hesitate to think about making a weekend journey um, or condensing your journey into several sessions. This is not to speed through the journey, but it is to help the girls to get the leadership skills that they need and to earn their journey awards to be able to move on to the next phase. Remember that journeys are required elements of earning the bronze, the silver, and the gold. Thank you for watching this video resource. If you have an idea for a video segment that you would like to see us produce, please send that information to our helpline at helpline at gsgatl.org.